Okay, he's going to watch Batman. It is 11.36 a.m. In a minute. On Friday the 30th of August. And it's time for Today in My Future. How are you? You alright? Are you good? Are you having a good day? Hope you're not stressed. I'm stressed. Yes. Um, as you guys know, I'm doing a garden. And... Um, I went into a timber yard a couple of weeks back and ordered a new fence and posts and post creep for the fence and all that lot and um, was told because we don't know when the delivery date is we will ring you it's lovely and she said we have got a couple of panels in I said no no I want it all off the same line please so she said yeah, yeah that's fine no worries so um, I'm lying in bed this morning and I could hear the noise of a lorry reversing and I was like that's really loud that's really that's really really loud gets up looks out the window it's right outside my fucking back garden and I was like he's delivering to my house I did not know they were coming I've checked my phone he had texted me at 7 35 to tell me that he was on his way that I was his next delivery he was there 10 minutes later now my phone doesn't make any noise until eight o'clock because it's on do not disturb and um yeah I uh, I was not impressed to say the least um that he just they you know hadn't bothered to let me know so I thought oh you know and then I sort of noticed that my neighbor's car had already gone and I thought well at least she's left for work and then I thought oh shit I haven't heard Gary's trike Gary's the guy in the band that I quite often go and see. They only live like a few doors down. And I thought, shit, I haven't heard Gary. And then just at that moment, Gary walks up like, oh, you're going to be, mate. Well, I'm unloading, says the driver. He was, he was quite rude, the driver. And Gary was like, yeah, is there any chance you could move? He said, because I need to leave for work. I'm late. And the guy was like, I'm only going to be five minutes. And Gary's like, that's fine for you, he said, but that means I'm going to be five minutes late for work. Is there any chance you could please move so that I could get out? No. He would, the driver didn't even look at Gary, didn't even do him the courtesy of looking at him. You know, and I said, Gary, I'm so sorry, I didn't even know they were coming today. And he just sort of shook his head and wandered off. And then he come back and he said, um, how much is that? And I said, these panels, the posts, and some posts great. So he was like, right. So he goes back and gets in his car, driver, and sat there waiting for this driver to move. In the meantime, the driver's there going, I hate neighbours and all this lot. And I was like, that neighbour's my friend, do you know what I mean? And um, the driver, and I mean, he was going quite fast, but Gary ended up not leaving until a good 10 minutes later than he normally does. I have had a message off of Gary apologising. Um, and he said, you know, he said, I wouldn't have minded if he'd actually just looked at me. And I said, look, dude, I am so sorry. I didn't even know they were coming. And I said, and if it makes you feel any better, after all that, I only got half my fence panels. I was supposed to have 10 only five arrived i didn't dare query it because i knew gary was waiting and i didn't want to hold him up anymore but yeah i only got text so i ended up phoning the company and saying uh where are the rest of my panels and the gate the gate didn't even arrive and he was like well it's out for delivery i was like no i've just had the delivery and i said you know the guy held up my neighbor didn't apologize refused to move um and uh, yeah i've only got five five fence panels and he was like oh he said, well, he said, I don't know. He said, I'm going to have to chase it. It was well over an hour before he called me back. The rest of it is on its way, thankfully. What a fucking palaver. And I can't go shopping now because they're like, oh, it'll be delivered this afternoon. Well, when? Do you know what I mean? I've got things to do. So I'm now stuck inside the house all fucking day waiting for the new fence panels to arrive. So I'm really, really not happy. Good, I've got nothing to tick today. Um we've added some more tabs in look uh, we have now added in the grey pens in there butterfly world in there and a september in there these are only paper but they seem to be holding up quite well I did do a photograph yesterday but what I didn't notice was that one was folded down which I was a bit upset about the actual page had folded but yeah no, it's, it's holding up quite well Looks cool, doesn't it? I love it. Look at that. <laughs> so I did a wee bit of journaling. 
was that yesterday? God, I can't remember. 29th, yes, it was. I just need to journal a little bit more about yesterday and then we can start today. I will do that in a bit. <laughs> Let's change the pen. Oh, I'm just glad Gary's not one of those people that like holds the person having it delivered responsible because there are people like that, aren't they? They would all be like, oh, it's your fence, it's your fault. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> Thankfully, he's not like that, so. It's a bit of a grey day. It's not very nice. It's, it was lovely when I got up, but now it's a bit breezy. It's overcast. It's not at all pleasant. <sighs> I don't like days like this because I'm stuck in the house. I can't do anything. I want to go out and walk about with my camera. Oh, you guys, I am stuck Daryl in the bath this morning while waiting for my mother to come down. And when he got out, I said to him, let's try your uniform on. He looks so cute. So freaking cute. I can't believe how gorgeous he looks. I can't believe how grown up he looks, actually. All right, 6.15 and 7.00. 56. Yeah, he looks all grown up and just, oh, he's still my heart. And it all fits perfectly, so, whew, relief. <laughs> there we go, that'll do. <laughs> um, right, let's see, where are we at? I have done day face cream. That's it so far. I'm not checking that I've done the challenges because I haven't yet. <laughs> um, oh, let's pull a card. I've been using the wrong bloody colour. I've been using the Green Witch Tarot one instead of the Everyday Witch Tarot one. I was a bit cross with myself, really. But I don't suppose it really matters. The Wheel of Fortune. The wheel turns, as it invariably does. Um, it could be a good thing, you know. You you could be looking at, you know, a rainbow path. Everybody's cheering you on, and all that lot. But be careful; the wheel doesn't go a little bit too fast for you. Yeah, um, because it could end up going slightly too fast and causing a bit of damage if it gets out of control. You don't want that. I put the wheel turns. This could be this could be good. Just watch it doesn't spin out of control. And because I can never remember what number the wheel is, I'm pretty sure it's ten. Uh, yeah, it is. It's ten. Yes, I had it at the beginning of the month as well. Time to fill that out. Let's do the sleep for today. Okay, so yesterday I did 20,032 steps. 20,002,0032 rather. That was 8.31 miles. That's awesome stuff. Pleased with that. So. Let's go to today. Oops. Sleep. Today I apparently went to sleep at 20 to 1. And then like I said, was woken up by the delivery guy just before 8. I was awake for a little while in the night. But other than that, I had a had a good night actually. Uh, Daryl came and got in with me, and I, I don't recall waking up to him. So he must have come in, climbed in, and just snuggled up like he normally does. Sometimes I wake up, but it's getting to the point now where I, I think I just subconsciously acknowledge that he's there, and um, don't recall it the next day. 
but different from when he was a little, you know, toddler that had to be collected from the cot or whatever. But right, where's that pen? It's there. Keeping this upside down seems to have given it a little bit of a lease of life. Yeah, see, look at that. Not an issue with it. So I shall have to keep this upside down. I think this this particular one, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but it works. I can do that. It's just you know they put the the label on the on the cap, but they don't put it on the ass of the thing. So when it's in your pouch, you can't tell. You know what? Um, I'll clean the loo done anything to the kitchen yet I've got nothing to tick and I've got to do the rest of the churning right so I'm gonna leave that there next time I see you it'll be in the evening edition my lunch is ready I can smell it it smells lovely so um yeah I'll see you later on have a good day Bye. hi welcome back hopefully the sounds a little bit better my microphone is now like, right here There is no. Oh, you can't see it. The book's probably in the way. Shit. I'd swung the arm out of the way um, while looking for a spare USB slot on the back of my iMac yesterday. In the process, I did find a card reader slot, which was really good. I didn't know I had one. Everything's on the back of an iMac, which is okay, provided you've got room to turn it all around. I don't, so I have to sort of lean right around it all. So I swung my mic out of the way yesterday. And I'm not used to moving my mic, it's usually set up and I don't touch it. Um, so I forgot to pull it back into place. Um, I've also slightly lowered it because where I tend to lean over a lot like this and I know that I tend to mutter and I'm having to adjust the video gain when I do this. So I'm hoping that the repositioning of my mic to about my mouth level here means that um, when I, excuse me, when I um, lean forward, you're not going to lose the sound quite so much so fingers crossed let me know how just the second part of this video is the first part i'm sorry about the sound i didn't notice until i went to edit it and then i glanced over and the mic was fucking miles away and i was like oh but it's i mean it's yes i have turned it up for you i've increased the game but i was quite surprised at how much it did pick up i was like wow you know i can't stop looking at how chunky this is i mean shit guys that's one month's worth in there so if it's already that thick on one month that means it's going to be like about that it's going to sit like that <laughs> so today was a palaver wasn't it i stuck in the one that i got from tina and I also received a post crossings one from New Zealand today, which was fantastic. So these have been put in here sort of booklet style so that I can read. The, you know, I, I need to find a better way to put them in because I seem to have trouble getting them to like lie flat when they go in like this. You know, I tried sticking these two together first and then putting them in, but it just ends up pulling the paper and the tape doesn't go down nice. And it's like, fuck, you know? And then my pen spooged. My pen got a little bit excited and bleh, everywhere. I was like, great, where's my hands look? That's all from filling, that's a Twisby. You shouldn't be touching the nib on a Twisby. And I put it in and I twisted the thing and I twisted the thing back up again. I went, yeah, that's fine. Wiped the nib off on the side of the bottle, put the pen down for five minutes while I went and you know put my ink away and all of that lot. Picked the pen up, wrote one fucking word and then this massive ink block pit on I was like, I don't fucking believe this. So I had to go grab a thingy to soak it out. I was like, for God's sake. So yes, not impressed. Anyway. Welcome to the evening edition. <laughs> Whatever. So, where are we up to? Where are we up to? Did I do this? I don't I don't have done challenge yet. Um what's the challenge today? Hopeful. No, I know I haven't done the challenge yet. So bugger. I've already journaled there, I don't really <sighs> for fuck's sake. 
Hmm. Well, I guess. Oh, am I going to be doing it down there? With that, I've got literally. I've got that double spread for tomorrow. So, what are the last two words? Hopeful and accomplished. Ooh. So I'm going to do hopeful here on my little board. And um, we'll go from there. I can always put accomplished and whatever in there afterwards. I don't have room on my desk for all my shit. <laughs> I literally do not have room. That went a bit skewy. There's a photo and it's not up to the line. So every time I draw a line, it sort of goes boop. As I go over the edge of the photo, it's a bit of pain. There you go, hopeful. I'll do accomplished tomorrow. Can't believe tomorrow's the last day of August. Right. Well, where does that go? My God. Great. I love how bulky the book is. It's getting a bit difficult to write in, but it's great fun. Right, I've done the challenges. I've not had any booze. Just come to think of it, I don't have any booze yesterday. What did I? Yeah, I really can't remember. I've definitely had more than one can, and I've had chips today. I haven't crafted, so I need to do it about today. My garden this morning. I haven't done my weights and I haven't yet done my night face cream. So I need to, I have done some chores though. You'll be very proud of me. My kitchen is blitzed guys. I have blitzed the kitchen as in it is clean. <sighs> that looks a lot fuller than last month. <laughs> That's about the only thing I have kept up is my fucking tower readings. And I've probably done better this month than I have. Well, I think June was the last decent month I had. Because I just... No, not even in June actually, because June was when we lost Stuart. So yeah, probably May. I don't know, I'd have to go check, but who gives a shit? Right, so today... Hmm, let's go with, let's go with pink, 7.43. I'm making a bit now, but I've been sat here writing out postcards for you lot. <laughs> um, which I will send off tomorrow, all of them. I've got a post crossings one to do as well. Um, I'm going to put a smiley face because my fence turned up, and even though I'm pissed off with the delivery guy, and I'm seriously considering making a complaint about his rudeness because you know, Gary is not just my neighbour, he's my friend, and um, even though Gary's hopefully fine about it now I'm not sure I am and the second delivery guy said you should really complain about that and so I'm sort of thinking well if the other guy thinks I should then you know maybe I should and the second guy was really nice we were chatting for ages and um we got turns out he's a an amateur photographer as well and I was like yay and we got chatting away and he told me about um an island um photography group so I joined that yeah which good fun. So I've, I've probably joined a shitload of photography groups. I'll weed them out after a little bit. Um, just, you know, as I get an idea of what they're all like. The annoying thing is though, is a lot of them, and this one is the same, you're only allowed to post three photos a day. Which I understand why. That's so it makes it fair for everybody. But then I'm also like, 
but how can I show you just three photos from Butterfly World? These three, you know, out of all the 76 and four videos that I took. Right. We're on Friday, so today I've done the loo, I've done the laundry. I've done the dishwasher, I've done the worktops, and I swept the floor. I cleaned the microwave. Why am I colouring Saturday? Well, I should just have to make sure I do that tomorrow then, wouldn't I? Colouring the wrong fucking day. Oh my god. Okay, microwave. Daryl's table, dishwasher worktops, and I swept the floor. And I did the TV. Because I was watching it last night and noticed that there was actually dust on the screen. I was like, oh, that's terrible. I did say to Alex the other day, we're going to have to blitz the house when Daryl goes back to school because, um, you know, I haven't been doing it. The windows haven't been done for about three months. Basically, the housework went down to fucking pan when Stuart died just because I couldn't cope. But that's it, I'm getting there, I'm coming back out of it slowly. So tomorrow you can't see that, I've written in yellow that I have to go down to the big house and do some cleaning because I haven't been down and done anything down there for fucking ages. My mum wants me to change her bed for her, her, her bed sheets, um, so she can launder the one she's got. Um, and she, she can't do it on her own, so I've got to go down. And there's some posts down there that I've got to deal with from an ex-tenant. So there we go, that's, that's pretty much it. We are all caught up. I love that photo of Isis, she just looks so cute. But yeah, I'm, I've got no idea how I'm going to get this fucking ink off. So. It'll still be there tomorrow, and you lot are going to think I'm skanky and don't wash my hands. But I do, I promise. My nails are in such a state. My tech's going to have a right go at me. Right. So, um, I have gone as far as to write the numbers in in grey. I used N75, I think it was. I like that colour. That is a nice colour. And I bet that's good for drop shadow as well. I'm tempted to have a little play with. And I think while this is uploading and that, I'm going to list the chores. I want to doodle it a little bit as well. I wanted to do a back to school theme you know and um so i think i'm going to draw like some pens and pencils and stuff in um not really much i can do about that one I, i've stenciled this in previous months but i don't really have a stencil that would sort of do for that I'm sort of like, mm. so i'll have to leave that not really a lot i can do with that either. I know how I'm going to fill it out but obviously I'm not there yet and I need to fill that out. I'm also hoping to do a couple more spreads that I told Amber about but I'm keeping stum on them because I want to see if I can get them done over the weekend. They're probably not going to interest the majority of you because they're to do with wrestling but yeah I mentioned to Amber about them earlier today and she was all like <gasps> and I was like well yeah, you know I'm hoping to get on them this weekend and then um, yeah let's just hope I've got enough room. I should have. Oh yeah, I've got a whole, I've got a whole signature there. Well, that's twenty pages, isn't it, or thereabouts? Is that right? <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Where's the middle of it? One, two, three. That's forty pages. <laughs> Forty-one, forty-nine. So yeah, I got loads of room. I need to copy over my monthly calendar as well because I haven't done that yet. I haven't filled this out so I need to copy all that over and basically get this all set up and then over this weekend as well I need to set up from because I'm only set up until tomorrow um, I don't have a Sunday in here because um, I just made a, a th and I need to do an A6 journal as well I completely forgot about that I also suspect I've got some stuff here that I haven't yet done I need to register for the milk. Yeah, so I need to do all that. Um, so yeah, I'm literally done up until tomorrow. So yeah, time's running out. So tomorrow what I might do is go down, clean up down there and then come back and get get ready, film 
a setup for tomorrow so I might not do it today in my bujo I don't know um, I'll just have to see how it goes all right so um, yeah I hope you've had a fantastic day I hope yours was a slightly less stressful start than what mine was because that was just bonkers and I did not enjoy that at all uh, my beads twisted there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, I really really appreciate each and every one of you joining me there are postcards going to be winging their way out to you tomorrow look at that whole pile of postcards a couple of you are going to get same ones okay because I do have a couple of duplicates actually I think this is, that's the only duplicate so I hope you guys don't mind sharing postcards uh, Galena and Amber, you guys can get the same. Everybody else gets something a little bit different. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. I wanted your advice. I want to create my own postcards. Okay. So it, by that I mean go out, take photographs, and turn them into postcards. Now, my photo paper is that's that's the full size it's a, a seven by five photo paper now at first I had the idea that the blank postcards I had I could use these to back them which seems a bit dark because there's no address thing there or anything like that and not only that but they're not you know I'm gonna lose a lot then I thought well, maybe I could do two but two is you know I'm it would have to have a pretty big fucking border you know these are obviously a6 size i think <sighs> so that seems a little bit big for a postcard yeah and these are sort of standard postcard size and they're all roughly about this size so do i suck it up and lose that part do I print one big postcard? I, I have just had somebody on Post Crossings who actually has written no maxi cards. And I guess that's for the sticking in of journals and stuff like that or in display books. Or do I make mini ones that are maybe sort of half the size of a A5 or so, you know, so it wouldn't be seven by five, it'd be what, three and a half by two and a half, which just seems really, really small to me. I mean that's going to be smaller than this um, I'm looking for the ruler that's got inches on no the ruler doesn't right so if I did it it would be that's a lot isn't it that's, that's, a, that's quite a difference that's tiny you guys see that? That would be really small. I think I might just do big ones. And if I come across anybody that doesn't want maxi postcards, I'll go and buy one. Because I got today this cute little stamp that allows me to put a postcard on it, place your stamp sticker here, which I, you know, I probably won't even actually use this. And then on here it says, sent with love from me to you. And I would probably only use that for like people that I know. I wouldn't use this for post crossings. I'd probably just use the postcard bit at the top. And I would stamp like they have. If you imagine that that's got my photograph, I would probably turn it over. I would stamp, you know, postcard in the middle, draw a line down there, draw some lines there for the address or just, just write the address and then just do my postcard over here. But I mean, these ones are smaller than your standard postcard. Not by much, but they are. So I don't know, do I go smaller or do I go bigger? What do you think? Give me your comments and suggestions on whatever down below. And we'll go from there, okay? Thank you so, so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I love that you guys come and watch my channel. I really, really do. Um, I love that you guys are so accepting of all the noise and that the Daryl makes. I'm so very, very glad that he only has another week 
and then he goes to school and I'm, I'm so excited for him not just because it's like yay I get some normalcy and routine back but it's like I'm excited for what's coming for him as well I really really am I kind of wish I could follow him around and document it if that makes sense you know but there we go anyway I'm gonna leave it there take it easy don't forget the thumbs up got to do a thumbs up and you know what we like we like the comments down below Dow tells you this more than once you should all know this by now and if you don't and you're new welcome to my channel I swear I have a creaky chair sometimes I drink I have a kid and he makes a lot of noise and I plan and, 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 and that's about it really if you'd like to see more of that click the book there in the corner and you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell which appears down below you'll be notified when I upload new content because YouTube's clever like that thank you so much for joining me today if there is not a today in my bujo tomorrow there will be a week whatever it is 36 a week 36 set up instead there will be one or t'other or maybe both depends on how generous I'm feeling okay have a fantastic rest of your friday and you know whatever by the time you get around to watching this you know it might be fucking next wednesday by the time you get around to watching <laughs> and if it is don't forget the live tonight <laughs> okay take it easy guys and i will see you next time have a good one